Hello, good morning, dear students. So, for this video, I'm going to teach you about Boyle's Law. Of course, we are going to focus on how you can compute for different Boyle's Law problems. So, for this first example, I'm going to share with you how you can compute for the final volume. So, when we talk about Boyle's Law, we are actually dealing with um, the relationship of volume and pressure of a gas. So, there is an effect if there will be a change in volume to pressure and vice versa. So, let us deal with final volume first. So, V2. Our formula for this is V2 is equals to the product of the initial pressure and initial volume divided by the final pressure. Okay, so problem. Okay, our initial volume is 25 liters. We are looking for the final volume. And then our initial pressure is 2 atmospheres. And our final pressure is 4 atmospheres. Okay. So... Because we are looking for the final volume, this is the formula that we are going to use. So, our initial pressure is 2 atmospheres. It is, it is going to be multiplied to 25 liters divided by 4 atmospheres. So, 2 atm multiplied to 25 liters is 50 atmosphere per liter divided by 4 atmospheres. Of course, cancel the same units and you will arrive to the answer which is 12.5 liters. Okay? So, that is how you can compute for the final volume of a gas. Now, what if we are going to compute for the initial volume of a gas. So, problem. Our problem is that we need to look for the initial volume. So, our final volume is 35 liters and then our initial pressure is 5 atmospheres. Our final pressure is 7 atmospheres. Okay, so for this, we have another formula, which is initial volume is equal to the product of the final volume and the final pressure all over the initial pressure. So our final volume is 35 liters multiplied to 7 atmospheres divided by the initial pressure which is 5 atmospheres. So, what is our answer for this one? So, we have 35 multiplied to 7. So, we have 200 45 liters okay and then we have 5 atmospheres over here so 245 divided by 5 we have 49 liters so kung napansin ninyo ang Boyle's Law problem is just you know, trying to multiply and divide lang. So, hindi siya masyadong complicated actually. It will only be complicated if we go to worded problems because some of you ay mas madaling ma-confuse sa mga worded problems. Okay. So, dun naman tayo sa problems kung saan 
hinahanap ang final pressure. Okay. Kunwari, final pressure ang nawawala. So, for example, our initial pressure is 3 atmospheres. And then, our initial volume is 140 liters. Our final volume naman is 220 liters. So, our formula for this is final pressure is equals to the product of the initial pressure and initial volume divided by the final volume. So, for this problem, our initial pressure is 3 atmospheres which is going to be multiplied to the initial volume of 140 liters and then divided by 220 liters which is the final volume. So, 3 multiplied to 140 is 420 and then 220 liters divided by 220 is 1.99 so on and so forth so we are going to use 1.91 1.91 1 atmospheres Okay, so cancel the same unit. So that is how you compute for the final pressure. Now, what if we are going to compute for the initial pressure? Okay, our problem is the final pressure is 6 atmospheres. The initial volume is 210 liters. The final volume is 375.20 liters. Okay. So, our formula for this is initial pressure is equals to the product of the final volume and final pressure divided by the initial volume. So, for this problem, what is our final volume? So, we have 375.20 liters multiplied to the final pressure of 6 atmospheres divided by what? divided by the initial volume of 210 liters so we need to compute for that now so we have 375.20 uh, multiplied to 6 so, we have 2,251.2 divided by 210 liters. So, we have 10.72 atmospheres. Ayan. So, that is our final answer. Now, for the next video, meron akong um, ipapagawa sa inyo. Actually, if hindi to for the next video, you can comment your answers down below. So, sa description box, I will be leaving a worded problem. So, if you want to answer, just leave your answer in the comment section. You, you don't have to show your solution, you just have to write or comment your answer. So, I hope this video helped you with your um, with your task sa science and yung sagot for the worded problem will be revealed on the next video for Charles Law. So, yeah, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below. Um, click the notification bell and I will be 
seeing you on the next video. Thank you for supporting. Bye!